way. If you have a place, do not refuse to go meet in a Christian meeting like the book of Hebrews say. Paulo. Paul was take, led by the Lord said the synagogue when is there. Mule ndani. Go in there. Opportunity. He was given the opportunity. Amen. Eh? Amen. Wa, ya wa you ate. know what behavior the Jews had? Kama if they read the Torah. Ule high priest ya kidogo, if the high priest speaks. Kisha mkutana, and then he will ask the congregation. Whoever has something to add on Asema. should say it. Amen. Eh? Amen. This was their behavior. They said the same to Jesus. They said the same to Peter. And they did the same thing to Paul. Paul anasema, and Paul stood and spoke. And that's what I'm looking for. The opportunity. Amen. Eh? Amen. Anasema, and the Bible says this. Do not lack like doing well. You, will, you still have time. If the Lord gives you the opportunity to do good, catch it. Take the opportunity. Because there's a time that you will look for it and you won't find it. And Paul said, wow. That's the best one. Is there anyone who so has a word and Paul throws his hand? He said, I have a word. Karibu. Welcome. In the Jews. Amen. Eh? Amen. He stood and he started preaching. He said that Jesus, the one who that you heard the prophet speak on, yes, he did come. The same one we crucify is the same one who's the lamb. The one whose blood has been poured for, for our salvation. And that everyone who believes in him will be saved. And the Jews looked at him and said, This man this opportunity that we've given him, he has abused it. He abused the opportunity. How can you come in a synagogue to preach in the short minute that we've given you, you start talking about, just accept it God, don't waste even one second. If God gives you the opportunity, preach the gospel and the true gospel. You heard the truth hurts, but it also saves. Those who like the truth, and those who reject the truth get hurt and that's how the gospel is. The world is being destroyed because the, hum the humans want to preach things that they like. The gospel is the gospel. Christ came, he died, and he has resurrected even if you don't want him, even if you reject him. But yes, he did come. The one who was preached about the prophets is the one I'm telling you. And he called his blood so that whoever believes in him will not be lost by the Eternal life. That's the truth. Na I don't believe it. If someone tells you, Missy, you are free to believe. You just tell them, Uko Uko we are not changing it. Lakini, Missy, that is what it is. If in your journey you get the grace to believe it Kama one day, praise God. If you don't, Kama the book of John says, those who did not believe in Christ are Christo, already condemned. If you don't want to believe in him, we won't push you to believe. If you believe, the grace is still there. And that is the truth of the gospel. To give force. To give force, force, and shit oh, if we force it, it will hurt us also. Uh -uh. The gospel of Christ is to be preached and then you let go. And they start talking. Some Jews say, maybe this man is right. And others say, 
We can hear other things. But saying that that Jesus' blood is what came to save us. The people of the world like proof. They say, how can we prove that? Well, faith. La imani does not require proof. It is called faith. Because it doesn't need proof. Amen. Amen. If proof comes in, faith has no work anymore. And that's where the problem is with the atheist. It's not that they don't know that God is deep down, but they bring arguments so they can show you openly. I only answer them one word. It's not that everything that you see or what you don't see that it doesn't exist. You're the one who doesn't see it, but it's there. Amen. Amen. And the thing that you don't see, there are other people who have the eyes to see. Amen. Amen. It's not because you don't see something, it means it's not there. It's just you who doesn't see it. But there are other people who are born in you, and they will harvest in the truth of the things that you reject. Others have harvested fruits and loaves and the food. And they just say, Tamba gira, tamba gira, tamba gira, Mami Yesu, tamba gira. You hear and you say, What are they talking about?